Right now, the radar is showing some scattered showers moving to the south, all thanks to a little disturbance sitting off the east coast of the state. And you can see most of these are dissipating a little bit as they work their way closer to 78 between Buckhead Ridge, Lakeport, and Moorhaven. And as we move over to the Fort Myers side, some early morning showers will continue to see the possibility of a few light rain showers here throughout the morning. But all in all, uh, what little we're seeing here this morning isn't amounting to much. As we uh, look back at yesterday, we officially had a trace of Page Field and our uh, rainfall totals here for the month of July pretty much right on track. Uh, we average about a quarter of an inch a day, so we are just below that there in Naples and slightly above in Fort Myers. As those showers dive south today, notice the clouds don't go anywhere, and we'll see a 30 to 40 percent chance of some scattered showers, maybe even a thunderstorm here this afternoon as we wait for our rain chances to increase even more in the days ahead. It is very warm this morning. Temperatures in the low to mid 80s with upper 70s inland, and those dew point values are sitting well well into the mid to upper 70s. Factor that in, it feels like the mid to upper 90s along the coast, and that is a very, very warm start. Our average should be down around 75. Rain chances will come up as the weather pattern transitions, and as we look at tomorrow, little boundary gets kicked to the south, and that's going to allow some showers to develop early, and then the redevelopment of some thunderstorms once the atmosphere destabilizes there in the afternoon. And by the time we get towards Saturday, we get into a very typical rainy season pattern. That wind's going to come out of the southeast. That's going to get our temperatures up in the low to mid 90s, and that's going to give us about a 70% chance of afternoon showers and storms. Let me show you why. This area, the National Hurricane Center is actually monitoring for possible development, but nothing to worry about. As this pulls north, there's a couple of things that's going to happen. Today, not a whole lot. It's going to keep some clouds around, but by tomorrow afternoon, a little boundary, almost like a weak front, is going to move across the area. That's going to give us a little better chance of rain. As this boundary moves north, our winds are going to shift out of the southeast. That's what's going to give us those stormy afternoons starting here over the weekend. And there is the latest tropical weather outlook only at 10%. Again, we're not really worried about this broad tropical low pressure developing into something tropical, but for us, it definitely brings some changes in the wind flow, and that's going to bring the high chances of afternoon showers and storms back. It's also going to give us our sunshine back in the morning hours as well.